Hello guys, um, today we're going to be talking about another vinyl record, uh, Beatles 65. Now, I've li I've heard Beatles songs, songs by the Beatles before, like on radio and stuff, but I never really listened to a full album of theirs until now. Um, yeah, and, uh, and first a little bit about it, um, Beatles 65 by the Beatles, this is the vinyl version we'll be covering, it was released in 1964. It's actually 26 minutes, 10 seconds long. It's not a long album. In fact, in all honesty, it probably would have been an EP by usual length standards. But because, you know, back then songs were shorter, from, I guess from apparently songs were shorter back then. And plus, there's 11 tracks on it, so you can't really call it an EP. It's definitely more of an album, despite the length. Um, and it was under Capitol Records. Now, the members, of course, are... Paul McCarthy, um, John Lennon, George, uh, Ring, George Harrison, Ringo Starr. We all know about them. Paul McCartney plays bass. John Lennon does guitar. George does guitar as well, lead guitar, and Ringo does the drums. And they both sing. All of them sing. The album was produced by George Martin. And this was pretty much his group, the Beatles, but he also did some work with uh, Peter Sellers. Peter Sellers as well, the actor. Uh, the a comedian actor for some audio stuff as well. Now, on on all music, all music gave the album three point five out of five, but audiences on all music gave it four point five out of five, with about seven hundred thirty ish audience people. Now the tracks on here. Let's see, just comparing it. Make sure I have the... Okay, so let's start with, um, so, No Reply. No Reply. Um, No Reply is, that one was pretty good. It definitely, it kind of had, all these songs are, there's not really a song in here. I'm like, wow, that was just a filler. All these songs just feel very, a lot, feel like a lot of effort was put into them, in all honesty. Um... No reply was pretty good. I liked I liked that one a lot, especially the vocals. Uh, I'm a loser was good too. Um, Babies in black. That one, that one was kind, that one was I think more of the. That one had a kind of an eeriness to it, if I remember quite correctly. Um, rock and roll music was kind of classic rock and roll style. I thought the sun was pretty good too. I like that one. Mr. Moonlight was awesome. I love that one. That, that might be my favorite song on the track because it just, it just kind of has the, like, class, that one's, I wouldn't say that one's eerie, but definitely kind of, it kind of reminds me of, uh, California Dreamin' by the Mamas and the Papas a little bit, but the way they use their vocals and that. Honey Don't, side two, Honey Don't was pretty good. I'll be back. She's a woman, she's a woman kind of had, had some aggressive vocals to it, too. I Feel Fine, kind of a similar fashion to that. Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby, that one's definitely classic rock and roll. So all of them are very good songs, in all honesty. None of them, no complaints. Now, I know John Lennon was kind of considered the main vocalist, but I know that everyone kind of sings lead at some point in the group's history. <sighs> Sorry. However, I don't know who sang lead where. I didn't write that down. I should show off this. So we got the cover here. Someone wrote core on it. Here's the back. Has some of their other albums during that time on the back. Oh, it's wrong. It's a track listing little info. And apparently this album was supposed to be... I don't know if it was supposed to be a Greatest Hits compilation. I don't really know the nature of that. And here's the sleeve the vinyl came in. Joined the, the teen set on Capitol and got all these Beatles albums. Something new, and you got some Beach Boys here. And then you got all these guys. I Some of them I re recognize, some of them I don't. And then you got more on the back here. And then, yeah. Hmm. Nat King Cole's back here. Bobby Deering, Jackie Gleason, Peggy Lee, all those people. 
sleeve and then of course this as well but yeah it's it was a very good listen i enjoyed it a lot and it's not a long album to listen to too so overall i liked it a lot um even though most of these songs I think the only ones I kind of am somewhat familiar with is Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby and Mr. Moonlight, maybe. But rock and roll music, possibly. But I really liked all these songs. These songs, they were, they were, they were, cat, all of them, none of them felt like filler to me, in all honesty. And granted, I may need to listen, I listen to it again to kind of, kind of get a more deeper memory of each track, but... I remember most of them pretty well, and and yeah, I definitely highly recommend it. Um, vinyl's a great listen to. Eh, find it on cassette, it'll probably be good too. But I don't know where you would find something like this on cassette. I'll applaud you if you do. Um, CD, I imagine you can find something like this on CD. YouTube, you probably will find it as well. YouTube's probably the place you're gonna look for it as well. Um. <clears throat> But yeah, other comments on the songs. Um, the use of vocals was very good. I loved hearing the guitar, um, the bass too. The drums were good too. I mean, it was it's the Beatles. I mean, they're all well defined. I think what I, I think what I liked most about listening to them, they just kind of have a. It's hard to describe. It's definitely there's like a quality to them that just kind of screams timelessness. But yet they're very, they're very 60s though, especially in this era. This era, you could tell that they were in their 60s, cause the 60s era. <clears throat> it's not really till the late 60s where they start to get a little bit more experimental, and that's kind of when their work started to become more transcendent. But their earlier works was very good. I like them, these works a lot. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, I don't think John Lennon sings lead on all of them. Um, I feel like he sings lead on, on a good chunk of them, though. Um, I don't know if Ringo sings lead on any of them. George, maybe one or two, but I think, I think Paul probably sang lead on a, f a few, though. But yeah, um, yeah, there's that much more I can say about it. It's... A very well defined album of its time. I mean, it doesn't have all their big hits, but it's it has hits of the time and maybe some deep tracks too that are very enjoyable to listen to, in my opinion. And yeah, I, I would definitely listen to this again. But yeah, I would check this out any medium you can. YouTube. Um, if you're if you're if you are a little unfamiliar with the Beatles and you want to get a bit more familiar with, um, this is a good early one. If you see it lying around and you don't have anything Beatles related, this is a good jumping off point, in all honesty, other than a Greatest Hits compilation. But in all honesty, a, a true Beatles co Greatest Hits compilation would probably be like 90 to 95 percent of their music. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. It's a good listen. I recommend checking it out, Beatles 65. And I will say, the guy who wrote Core or whatever on that, um, maybe next time you could have just wrote it on the back. <laughs> Though, granted, I've seen much worse permanent marker labeling on these album covers than this. This That doesn't really ruin it that much to, for me personally. I've seen worse. But yeah, I recommend it, checking it out. And uh, yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Check it out, give it a listen. I'm sure most people might like it if they love the Beatles. I mean, I don't know a lot of people who don't, but there's probably a few out there, but let me know in the comments your thoughts on it or on anything really in general. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please subscribe and like the videos and have a good day.